Alrighty guys, got my mess kit, got some um, uh, strip of bacon and an egg, we're going to try this guy out. I just have to knock down this piece carefully um, without burning myself, that way I can set the mess kit down on top of the down on top of the thing there right on the top of the stove so let's get some bacon and eggs going I just washed my pan before I put it in let's see see if I can do this without getting shells in there Voila. All right, now, I guess I'll use my pants as a rag. Wipe the oak off, the oak. Now, I push the logs down here. I'll bring you over. We got a nice uh, roaring fire there. I'm gonna just put the um, put my mess kit on. Not really a roaring fire, but you know. And we're gonna see how this baby does. And see how the mess kit fits nicely on the top, and it has air gaps in the corner to do its thing. And then I can also put the bacon grease afterwards in the fire to get things going even more. Now it fell in a little bit, but it's not falling. It's not going to fall any further either way because of the because of the deal, right? So that's cooking really well, very fast, as you guys can see. I'm gonna kind of move it around. I should be using the fork, I'm sure, but I'll mix the bacon in right with the egg, just to help things move around. Now, I want to adjust that just a little bit because when I'm doing that I'm actually putting pressure on the mess kit so you definitely want to put a handle you want to put a hand on your handle for sure when you're cooking on like low heat I guess <laughs> flip that flip that guy over release the yolk it's kind of a mishmash like depending on how you like to cook your stuff I'm kind of doing bacon omelet style, I guess. And then I may have to put one of these smaller pieces in there. Just to, you know, get things going. But she's, she seems to be steaming there. It's still windy, as you can tell. So.
and I had to kind of wait until it burned down so the um, the logs were about here on the survival stove so halfway down nice little bed of embers and ashes and that way I could put this guy on and cook cook nicely just you know that way it's not like a roaring deal yep she stirred the bubble and every time the wind blows it kind of gives it a little boost to the burner basically which is the embers and then you're good to go It's turning into like a scramble. There you go. Whoop. Yeah, like I said, just put an extra hand on the handle. It's not like it's going to tip over, but depending on how rough you are with your, you know, movements on here. And as you can see that there's not really any smoke because it's burning really hot, clean, and everything's kind of burnt down into the stove itself. So you, this is definitely a way to cook stealthily, I would say. Now I can hear some crackling and popping, guys. So I just got to keep my eggs on the move because they're starting to burn on this side. But... It smells like breakfast. See how I kind of burn the edges there, but in a SHTF, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'll move the heat, move that bacon over here to this end because there's an amber area right under it, and hopefully. You know, like you could, if you had the containers, you could separate them. And my pan's about to fly over in the wind. Almost. I gotta hold this handle down. Now, obviously, I don't know how well you like your bacon, but that's kind of not even really cooked that well because I don't see the grease. But, and I can't even see what the the viewer is showing me here. So hold on. There we go. So you got your scrambled eggs that look really nice. Smell smells good. I got a little burning sensation going on here because we're not dealing with modern conveniences out in the bush. Not really. But I can easily clean that up. But there's your little breakfast, guys. One egg and a chunk of bacon. I don't know if that's real lean or not. Not real greasy. Have to keep cooking that. You might have to cook these separately, depending on what you want to do. But hey, it's still going over here. You got your little fork, spoon, and knife set. And... If I get out of the shade, or the shadow, 
you guys might be able to see something. It's basically cooked down. Now, I'm not going to restart. There we go. Yeah, there's some embers back in there. See them? I just give the show stove a little hit with my foot. And there you go. Live and in Technicolor, right? So I definitely have leftovers if I want to do some more tests with the stove. Um, what I'm going to probably do, throw the rest of these logs in for now and um, just cook, cook, cook the sides of the stove because when you get, if you guys do want to buy one of these, the paint is going to definitely come off decoloration like you see and it'll go back to its original color which is the aluminum cover uh, color which is like a silver like stainless or whatever right but uh, there's the little breakfast and uh, yeah enjoy guys